Hello everyone. Let's take a look at our chain pull art kit and see what we've got to play with here. Um, you can see I've been playing with paint already. <laughs> First I take my paper drop sheet and I cover whatever surface I'm going to be working on. Um, I got a tray, a, a bead chain, and some paints here. These are my one ounce colors and then two ounces of the black. Uh, I've got these small cups that you can set up to put the panels on since this gets kind of drippy and you can see I've got a comb here for which I will show you the use of in a moment. Uh, I start by putting my background color on first. You don't have to do two of these at once. You can take your time, do one at a time, but I just uh, thought I'd show you two different processes here today. Uh, I push it all the way around with the comb trying to get it out to the edges before I push it over the edges. Uh, here I'm going to just drop it onto the other panel so I'm not wasting any of that paint. Um, and again, if you have, uh, you're wearing your favorite shirt, you should have uh, taken it off by now or have a smock or something. Um, you know, you, you need to dress for success with a mess, I guess I would say. Uh, here I'm going to paint the edges with my finger with that black because I enjoy uh, how the panel looks when it doesn't have that masonite color on the edge. Uh, kind of a brown wood color so it looks more finished to me and these panels you can just stick up on the wall with a, a couple of pieces of velcro uh, when you're done um, so I set that one down I'm ready to go I'm gonna jump over into my other one here and get it prepared and uh, the beauty of using this comb is it leaves just enough of a puddle on the surface to drag through um, you can do it dry. There are hundreds of techniques if you go online and look up chain pull or pull chain. They say it different ways. But I'll show you a couple here. And uh, you can see I'm just scraping it off and tapping my comb on the side to get the excess paint off. So uh, I'm going to set up for, uh, I've got a paper towel here. You know, I've got my tray. I've got my, my bead chain and I fold it up and I put it in the tray for this particular technique. I'm going to take my other colors here and give these a shake before you use them. <clears throat> I don't know how long they've been sitting by the time you crack the kit open. Uh, and I just kind of douse the chain with these different colors. It doesn't matter what combination you use. You don't have to use them all. You could use one color if you like. Uh, you can mix these colors and make a, a pinkish silver before you put it on there if you prefer. Uh, they all are really nice acrylic paints, so they're permanent on your clothing as well. Uh, and then I'm going to drop this. You can see I'm pinching it a couple inches from the bottom. And then I'm going to drop this on in kind of a zigzag form. Uh, this chain pull kind of does itself. I put my two fingers down at the bottom to guide it, and then I just gently pull and it creates this lovely flower type form. Um, sometimes one pull, it's one and done, or you might want to put another flower in there. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, I'm also showing these with a vertical or portrait format, but you may want to use a horizontal format and uh, go at it that way. Here I'm just using a little more red and white. So uh, probably I'd put a little silver one in there if I were uh, continuing to work on that one. Um, but I want to jump over to the other one and show you another process. Uh, this technique, uh, when you're done with your chain, just throw it in the water, rinse it out, it rinses easily, uh, dry it, and then put it right back on the panel. This process starts with the chain being on the panel already, and you can pull sort of down in that direction, so anything you can conceive of that gets yanked down below there, uh, that's kind of where you can put the paint and uh, it all gets integrated as you yank the chain. So uh, I've got some silver here and I'm going to put a little bit uh, on the edge here over the bead on the left side and uh, it will create a little more of an organic uh, shape on that side which I like sometimes for flowers and that'll get kind of pulled into the shape. And so here I go. Okay, and that's about all there is to it. It's a more saturated look. There are bigger puddles on this process, and uh, it can give you a little different effect. Best of luck to you on this, and I'm sure you'll invent your own processes as you go along. Please be sure to share, 
And thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to sharing another art experience with you sometime soon.